FastPair has been a thing on Chromebooks for, I don't know, it feels like 18 months or something, maybe even longer than that now, but it's never quite worked the way that I wanted it to work, which is to say, if I pair something like these, the Wise Buds Pro to say, I don't know, like a Pixel phone, I expect that this device now just is magically paired to my Chromebook because I'm signed into the same account. And that's just never been the case. But sneakily, Google has gone with Chrome OS 119 and made that a reality. And I wanna show it to you. So, it's funny, you know, I was looking for Bluetooth pairing for something completely different. We were doing some stuff with game controllers and GeForce Now and all that kind of stuff. And so I was going to pair um, a controller and, and I went into, it was actually on a Chromebook uh, on beta 120 and went to my Bluetooth settings and I went to um, uh, actually look at the full settings to see. I was, I was trying to make sure that my controller wasn't paired to this. While I was trying to pair it to the television whatever. And, and I get to my Bluetooth settings here and I notice this is a little bit different. Um, there's a section right here, devices saved to your account. Now I saw this in beta and my first thought was, oh, this is something they're adding to beta 120. I just, I didn't know it was coming. I immediately opened up another Chromebook that's in stable, got it updated and checked and this is here in stable. So it's, it's there in Chrome OS 119. Um, Google spent so much time, I feel like talking about FastPair being on Chromebooks, uh, and, and, and to their defense, FastPair has been there. So like if I open this up, I'm not going to do it yet. Uh, these are not paired with this Chromebook. I actually just power washed this Chromebook for this video uh, to kind of show this to you. But these are not paired with this Chromebook. And what you're going to see when I open it up is the, uh, like a toast is going to come on the screen and say, hey, do you want to pair these up? And that's kind of been the FastPair thing. And, and that's part of FastPair. Like it means obviously you can pair them up quickly. It, it Instead of having to hold this and then go to my Bluetooth and search for devices and pick the device and do all that kind of stuff, FastPair brings a toast notification in there. I want to click connect and it just kind of gets gets to the, the point pretty quickly. And so that part of pass, FastPair has been, I'm going to say pass fair, I know it uh, a few times here, but uh, FastPair has been on Chromebooks in that capacity for a little while. And and that's fine. You know, that's, that's a cool thing. Um, I appreciate that. But the most intriguing part of FastPair to me is being able to be like, okay, I'm going to pair these with my phone. And then when I log into this Chromebook, which again, I did all this, I'm hoping it all works. Um, I did all this uh, for this video. I'm hoping that, you know, I should open this up and it knows, hey, that these have been paired to your Google account before. Now let's just pair them up on here and get them connected, really. Uh, it's less of a pairing process. And so I saw this new section, all that lead up. I saw this new section here. So I'm going to click in here, devices paired to your account. I clicked in there, my old Pixel watch that I, I don't have anymore. I gave it to my son. Um, was in here as well, but I took it out. Um, and, and these two things popped up, Robbie's Wise Buds Pro and the Pixel uh, Buds Pro. And so I was like, huh, look at this. Like, I think this is what I've been wanting. Like, this is exactly what I was expecting. Uh, you can click this three dot menu and you can remove it from your account if you want. I'm not gonna do that because that's kind of counterintuitive to what we're trying to accomplish here. Uh, but those things are there. And so I was like, huh, well, let's just see how this works. And so I'm gonna just open these up Hopefully, boom. So there's your fast pair. Now, connect your WiseBuds Pro. Obviously, uh, these I just showed you, and it says right there they will appear on devices linked with Robbie.n.pain, which is my standard Gmail account. They're connecting. Again, I've not had to go to technically, I showed you all the Bluetooth stuff, but I don't have it open. Um, I didn't have to go through any of the Bluetooth prompts. I flipped these open, it pops up there. I click connect, boom, they're connected. I'm going to make sure if I don't drop them, I'll make sure they're connected here. Let me, let me, uh, just open a video. That'd be the quickest way. Yep. Audio is coming through. No problem. And what I want to check, and I'm doing this live. I didn't even try this yet. I'm going to go to my Bluetooth settings on my pixel. I've not paired these with the pixel. I'm just curious. So I'm going to close them up again. I'm going to turn Bluetooth off on the Chromebook and let's give this thing a fighting chance here. I'll turn it off here so it's disconnected. Let's see what happens if I open them up now on my Pixel. Boom. WiseBuds Pro. Hopefully I didn't blow the shot out. I'm throwing a curveball at Joe here. And we are connecting. What I really love is it's the same uh, graphic. It looks the same as it did on the Chromebook. I love that continuity. That's awesome. 
and boom, just like that, connected. Uh, there's nothing really for me to show you. You can see it up there, showing my battery percentage. And then, here's what I also want to check. So I'm gonna turn Bluetooth back on, on my Chromebook. Okay, so we're connected on the, on the Pixel right now. I'm just gonna put one of these bad boys in, and I'm gonna connect, I'm just gonna click it over here. I'm just gonna see what happens. I don't even know what's gonna happen here. Yeah, it's not gonna like that. So Pixel Buds Pro, for instance, have a multi-point connection, so I can just bounce back and forth. I don't know that these support that. So I'm gonna go in here and let's just disconnect. There we go. Don't wanna forget them, I'm just gonna disconnect. And then we'll click Wise Buds Pro over here. Boom, immediately. Uh, WiseBuds Pro are connected. My case is about dead. So I was running into a few uh, issues with some uh, pairing. Obviously, charge your case up before you go to pair. Um, but it connected on there. Uh, we'll close it up. And these the case, like I said, is about to die. So um, perhaps if I pull them out of the case. It jumped on there. So we're going to disconnect here. And we're going to click back over here again just to try this. Boom, immediately connected. And that's the beauty of Fast Pair. I should be able to, now if I get multi-point uh, working, like with the Pixel Buds Pro or something, it's much cooler to be able to just jump back and forth without having to do that. But for devices that don't support that and still support Fast Pair, you can click, you can um, just basically disconnect from this one and then click connect and be on, uh, on a different device over here. But really what I wanted to show you is the fact that these devices now, fast pair devices, are linked at an account level. So you can go into your Chromebook and you can go into that Bluetooth setting and you can see that it's connected and the minute you open it up near that Chromebook, you're just gonna be able to click connect and boom, be up and running with your fast pair Bluetooth wireless device. But guys, that's it for this one. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, give us a thumbs up, head down there, hit that subscribe button and be sure to ring the notification icon as well if you'd like to be alerted when we make future videos just like this one. Until next time, we'll see you.